How do you price an acre of land? How do you put the value on an acre of land? The answer is very carefully. There is no absolute way to do this. Now, an appraiser would probably argue with me on that. And where I would argue back is I'd say if I brought in three appraisers, I'm talking licensed professional appraisers whose job it is to appraise the value of property, I would get three different reports with three different prices. And I could, I bet you a lot of money on that. That doesn't mean they wouldn't be similar or close to each other, but they would almost never be the exact same dollar amount or anywhere near the exact same report. That's our starting place. It's just knowing that there's some art to this and there's some math to this and maybe even a little bit of science. But the most traditional way to do that is based on resale value. That's comparable sales data. There are other ways to value an acre. Highest and best use, or maybe for its mineral content or its natural resource value. For the sake of our channel in this video, we're almost always talking about buying and selling a property or improving it for your personal homeowner use. So we're going to stick to that type of valuation. How do I value an acre of land with a home on it or to put a home on? It's funny because in the process of getting a real estate license, every real estate agent in the state of Texas has had to learn how many square feet are in an acre. 43,560 square feet. But that 43,560 can be long and skinny, short and wide, round, diagonal, triangular. It can have water, not have water, elevation, not have elevation. It can be in a floodplain or not. So there's a lot of variables that we're certainly not going to cover every single one of them right here. You're going to want to find out similar property types that have sold recently. And then we're not finished yet then make adjustments. So let's just say you want to buy one acre with a three bedroom, two bath house on it. How do I figure out the value of that? Well, what I don't want to do is compare with three bedroom, two bathroom homes that were on a quarter acre in a master planned community. Those are not even the same kind of property. I'm ideally looking for one acre homes in the same city, same state, same zip code, same school district that attend the same elementary school ideally on the same part of the, of the road with the same conditions, same lot. Like I'm in between two other similar homes instead of comparing with one that's up against the highway or next to an apartment complex or one that's on the river and one that's not. I want as similar as possible. And then I'm going to make adjustments for the things that are not similar. I may find four of those properties. Two of them have swimming pools, two of them don't. Well, which, does mine have a swimming pool or not? If it's no, the two that do not have a pool are more comparable to me, but I can still use the two that do have a pool. I just need to make an adjustment down a little bit for what I would value the pool at because mine does not have one. So there's a there's 100 of those adjustments for lot orientation, amount of mature trees and shade. Is it well water, city water? Is it septic or sewer? Uh, do I have solar or city electric? And different people value those things differently, but there's somewhat of a standard valuation. So let's just say I've done all that boring, nitty gritty, data driven valuation stuff. Now, from a marketing perspective, how would I price it? I valued it for maybe analytical reasons, but now what am I willing to pay for it? Or what do I think I could get someone else to pay for it? Now, that's a whole nother conversation. How many other homes like this one are currently available? If a buyer wants to buy this one, do they have any other choices? If the supply of homes like this is way low, then the price is going way up. If there's 10 other one acre homes with three bedroom, two baths and a pool in the same school district, same elementary school, chances are the value of my home is slipping down a little bit because a buyer would have a lot of other options. Now I need to figure out what's unique about my property. Elevation, age, quality, size, independence, privacy, you know, all these other elements. So this is why it's such a difficult question to answer. We're talking about 43,560 square feet with a three bedroom, two bathroom house without a pool. Seems like I could compare that to any others like it. In many situations, there aren't a lot of others like it because when we get into areas with acreage property, typically, at least in the Dallas-Fort Worth area where I am, those are on the edges of town, but the town is still expanding. So there are fewer and fewer and fewer of those. Here in DFW, there are still thousands and thousands of them, but not nearly as many as there were in 1950, right? The, the community is expanding and growing and what you might no longer call Dallas-Fort Worth an outer lying area may be more densely populated with one acre or larger homes. As you get closer into town, there are fewer of them and they're less comparable to each other over the years as they've evolved into different property types. It can be done 
and it gets done all day, every day. We specialize in this type of property. We do it all the time for buyers and sellers and homeowners who are remodeling and refinancing. But there's more art to this than just doing the math and just comparing to others. But what's really fun about it is these properties are really unique anyway. Where do they sit on the road? How are they fenced? How can they be used? Are they in the city or out of the city limits? Are they in the county? How are they regulated? Are, are, do, do I call the police or the sheriff? You know, how, cl how close am I to the fire department or a hospital? All these things matter and impact the value of a property. But again, different buyers have different needs and value things differently. So if you're thinking about valuing a one acre property, definitely in the DFW area or anywhere in Texas, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is below this video. Comment below. We read every single one. We can connect with you down in the comments or we can take it offline and help you one-to-one -one with your unique situation depending on what you're looking to buy, sell, or work with. That's something we specialize in. If this video is helpful, give us a thumbs up and like it. Subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell and you'll know when we make more videos for folks that are thinking about buying or selling homes in DFW or folks that love homes on land like I do. I'll talk to you on the next one.